This most powerful magnet developed right here in San Diego will start its long journey overseas to Europe tonight. The project years in the making, the magnet so powerful it can lift an aircraft carrier. And joining us to talk about what went into making it and how it's part of research to recreate the energy of the sun is Director of Engineering at General Atomics, John Smith. Welcome. Thank you. Glad to be with you today. Good to see you. So the magnet is sometimes referred to as the beating heart of this fusion project. Can you explain what exactly it will do? What exactly the, the magnet does when put together with there are six individual magnets that comprise the whole system. And it actually, they call it the beating heart because it actually is the cyclic part of the, the fusion plasma. What we're trying to do is recreate the sun on Earth and with that, a limitless supply of energy, uh, electricity for the world. And the, the main part of the magnet then is uh, to heat the plasma and make it uh, hot enough to be near, actually 10 times hotter than the sun. Wow. So the project is about fusion as opposed to fission, which is splitting the fusion, of course, uh, joining together. And we've seen fission in nuclear right. power plants, but this is different. This is fusion. It would produce more energy without the highly radioactive byproducts, but it's tricky to master, right? It has been very tricky to master. Uh, and the experiment this is going to in Southern France is gonna demonstrate the technological feasibility of fusion here on earth. And it's a, a giant scientific experiment put together by many partners in the world. There's seven individual uh, parties to this representing 23 nations across the world. And to do it, we're going to actually show that fusion works, that we can actually get more energy out of the fusion plasma than we put into it. It's a big step, very big step for the world to be able to on the path towards uh, fusion power. How did General Atomics and San Diego get involved in this 35 year multi country project? Well, General Atomics has more than 50 years uh, history in developing fusion power for the world. We have a running scientific experiment currently here in Serrano Valley called D3D. And that's a part of the whole process that GA has been on, uh, leading the effort now in the United States towards the fusion power. So flash forward, obviously, we're, we're years away from everything becoming operational. Mm -hmm. How would this work if, if, if right. you can prove that we've mastered the ability to fuse and, and fusion energy? Uh, would there be power plants the way we see nuclear plants now? And how would that develop as, in terms of infrastructure? Well, exactly, they'd be power plants, much like a fission plant today uh, is the heat source to make a steam cycle. The plan that uh, for a fusion plant would be the same thing. It would be the heat source to drive a fusion, uh, a steam cycle to generate electricity. And it's uh, the eater, the project that we're making the magnet for is the next step. And then beyond that, they would make a demonstration plant. And those ideas are now circulating amongst the scientific and engineering communities, what that plant would look like. And that would then, the demonstration plant would probably uh, generate electricity. Now we're almost 15 years away from the target date of going operational in terms of the proof and, and, and testing this. Uh, are we at where we need to be in terms of the project? Do you feel like everything's moving smoothly and we're going to get there or have there been some setbacks? Well, currently the next step, big step milestone for the ITER experiment is in 2025 where they actually will start up and, and create a plasma for the first time. Now we'll show all the systems are together and functioning together. Then, uh, as you mentioned, 15 years from now, or in about 2035, is when we'll put the real fuel in, the fuel that uh, gets us the most energy out of it. And that will be the big demonstration in 2035. Well, it would be amazing. But we're on track right now for the 2025 assembly and the first plasma. Well, it would be amazing uh, if, if this works and, and everything can be done on time. Thank you so much for spending some minutes with us to explain General Atomic's role and this huge magnet, how big a part it plays. Thank you very much for your time.